Welcome to another esoteric order of gamers joy of unboxing video and this time we're looking at incognito. Now I'm particularly proud to unbox this one because I actually did the graphic design for this game. The beautiful illustration work of course comes from the earlier edition of the game but this new edition by Ares Games was completely redesigned by myself graphically of course and um, I added all of this uh, lovely logo and decoration stuff and um, tried to give it a whole new lease of life. And I think the result has been, dare I say it, somewhat spectacular. I'm very pleased with the beautiful production that Ares Games has brought to this game. Let's have a look inside. And first, yes, here we go. It's the unripping of the shrink wrap. We just put a little bit of a cut along there. We grab it and rip. Oh, it's always such fun. Get rid of that. Now, let's have a look. Get a whiff of that lovely printing smell. Mmm, always good. Now, you can see the rule book on the top here. And there it is. Lots of lovely detail, lots of lovely pictures. I think that's come out rather nicely. Big illustration on the back. I'm glad they kept that. It looks great. Okay, that's our rule book. Let's move on. Ah, this looks like the board. Very nice and sturdy. And very large. Hmm. Let's have a closer look, shall we? As you can see, what I did with this was take the original illustrated map, which was beautifully detailed, and carefully deep etched it and put it on a more textual background. Uh, redid the roots, redid the spots on the board to make them clearer, added the logo, etc. It took quite a lot of time to work on this, and there's a lot of detailed work in the careful deep etching and the areas where it meets the sea. I think it turned out very nicely. Certainly a spectacular colourful board. Okay, moving on. You can see Ares Games have made a beautiful plastic insert here, especially vacuum formant for the pieces. Here we've got the player screens and there's an interesting story behind this. Um, Ares Games Roberto De Meglio um, was very instrumental in making these as turn out the way they did. I actually did a lot of work with a, a new collage of elements um, to give you this uh, illustration and um, his advice was to keep going with the watercolour feel. So I made up a new collage of the original illustrations, adding some more elements and giving them a watercolour feel and making the whole thing work together in four colours. Took a lot of time, a lot of effort, but I think that they worked out really well and that really shows the advantage of having a good um, person to work with when you're doing graphic design. If your client works with you and you have a good relationship, you usually get a good result. The other side here, very clear, easy to read, instructions. And these are of course player screens, so they bend and stand up. And keep hidden your little notebook where you work out who the other spies are. Nice little pad of notes there. Now we have a little deck of cards. Let's have a look. And here they are, all with the main illustration of these strange Venetian types and some kind of clandestine activity. And over the side we have lovely mission cards, A, B, C and D. Then we have the cards for the various different characters, Colonel Bubble, Lord Fiddlebottom, hmm. Agent X, Madame Zaza, and they come in four different colours, as you can see. 
And then the different types of agents. We have the fat one, the small one, the thin one, the tall one. Again in four different colors. Once again, just using the original illustrations, but also doing some original background stuff, all in the watercolor effect of the original illustrations. And then, some lovely plastic bits. Here we have a whole pack of all the agents in their different sizes, short, thin, fat, etc, etc. And this mysterious thing, what could this be? It is, of course, the Phantom of Prophecy randomizer. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to put you through all the horror of having to open up all these plastic bags and individual plastic bags and put these pieces together. So let's jump a little bit ahead, shall we? There we go, that was easy. And here they are, the lovely character figures. And are they cute? They come in lovely bright colours and they have little Venetian masks on and little hats. Beautiful. This is the ambassador figure. But these are just great. Really nice pawns. And the Phantom of Prophecy. Here it is. There's the ten different coloured balls are inside. And you give it a shake. And out comes the movement instructions for the turn. What a lovely thing. It's so tactile. This is the kind of thing you don't get in computer games. This lovely tactile thing, which you can use during the game, makes sounds, looks great. I love it. So, there you have it. Incognito. Definitely a game worth getting. It's a bit of a classic, and I really hope you like this edition. Um, there's been a lot of work into uh, going into making it the best that it can be. Incognito.